Miro board tutorial how to use Miro project manager good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel if you'd like to brainstorm if you'd like to build mind maps um, if you'd like to collaborate with team members this is the perfect platform for you Miro.com and once you've signed up after answering a couple questions this is the page that you will get to this is your dashboard now I'm going to show you a bunch of the very cool features that you can find right here on Miro so Right over here in your main section of your page, you can see that there is a new board, there's a mind map, there's a Kanban framework, and there's a bunch of other templates. So what we're going to do is on the right hand side, there is a show all tab, and we're going to go straight into that. So over here, you can see that um, all of the different templates are listed here. Now, right over here where it says for you, your personalized recommendations, this is basically where... Um, your usage starts to get monitored and now you get recommendations depending on what sort of things you like to use or what sort of um, templates you like to use so as you can see here we've got um uh, mind maps we've got kanban frameworks we've got um retrospectives we have quite a bit of different things here and they're all very interactive and um, they can really help you to collaborate with other team members on the left hand side over here you can choose um, the way you'd like to search for these uh, templates and then also there are um, use cases so if you have meetings and workshops uh, brainstorming and ideation agile workflows and so forth as you can see down here, there are a few options. So you can also jump into the search bar and you can search templates by name, category and or company. So just for an example's sake, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the brain writing. And if you uh, put your cursor over the tab, it says add quiet ideation to your brainstorm to generate and improve upon ideas right so what we're going to do here is you can either tap on use or preview or you can copy the link so that you can send it to one of your other team members what we're going to do here right now is um we are going to use this template so once we tap on use it'll open up the template and this is what the interface looks like. So as you can see here, it is basically a bunch of sticky notes, ideas um, from everyone that has um, been participating in this project. So of course, right now, for example, sake, I'm the only member of this um, of this project, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do all of this. So the first thing, when you first jump into this platform, it'll give you a couple guidelines as to how to navigate through so if you're um, like wanting to scroll and stuff like that if you have a trackpad on a laptop or a mouse on your computer it'll work slightly differently but I'm sure that you get the idea you know the moving up and down the scrolling left and right and the pinching as well as the um, zooming in so what you can actually do here is as you can see there are six participants and then the ideas are going down in a down formation and the participants across so as you can see on the top over here there's estimations there's voting there's also a timer and then um, also you can add some notes and there are some more apps that you can actually add on here so right now we're in the um collaborators cursor so this is my cursor here because i am the only team member here and then the next thing is um reaction so you can have a look at any reactions that have been made um, on this project and then you have the talk track now the talk track is how you basically um record everything that's happening so that um, you can come back and you can listen to the ideas and not only see them in the format that you're seeing in front of you over here. So um, you can literally voice record so you can have this um, idea perhaps um, idea two over here let's say perhaps it's just the idea and now you want to improvise and um, add some audio you can do so right over there. Then uh, you can add a comment and then you know, you can see the board owner over there. There's also your feeder, your alerts. And then there is the board presets. Um, you can also add frames and slides. And um, you can change the whole um, layout of what you're actually seeing here. Now, going into the actual, um, you know, 
participating in creating these ideas all you have to do is double tap on a sticky note and you can see now that it highlights it and you can actually edit this so we're gonna say um, this is an awesome um, idea and then what we can do is we can change the font we can change the font size we can switch up the font style um, there is also the alignment options you can insert a link uh, sticker size full color uh, there's um, the option to show the author of the text you can add a tag you can even add emojis uh, you can cluster objects which throw all these um, all these objects together by color by tag by author or by keyword or sentiment and uh, then we have our comments and then you can lock this idea so that no one else can edit it at all and then there is a Miro assist which is of course an AI assist that helps you expand on your idea and then if you tap on the more option here there's um, a bunch more options that you can actually bring to the table to make this unique so another thing then on the left hand side you can change this template altogether so we'll, we'll take all of this information and it'll just throw it onto another template in another format you can also um, you can edit all the text over here uh, then you can also add a sticky note if you have run out of sticky notes over here you can add shapes um, connection lines you can draw with a pen comment you can build frames around these uh, sticky notes and diagramming shapes and then there are a couple more apps that you can use and then if you've uh, if you've made a mistake you can just hit the undo button over there or you can use your keyboard shortcuts so basically once this has um, been created you know you can now um, either share this you can export it uh, you can also search within uh, this template and then if you tap on this main menu um, there's a command palette uh, there's your board options here you can either make a copy you can move delete rename and uh, then you can also change your view so um, there's a couple options here that you can actually change so if you want to change the collaborators cursor comments scroll bars object dimensions you can change all of that then also we have some uh, additional preferences here so if you're using the mouse uh, and a mouse pad or the trackpad as I mentioned earlier on the settings are slightly different but if you do choose um, the correct one that you're using then the settings are a little bit or the controls are a little bit uh, different but what will happen is it will be optimized for whatever you are using then uh, you can align objects you can reduce motion and you can follow all threads and then you have your profile settings right over here which you can change everything about your profile then there's a help tab and you can send this to an interactive display so as you can see here there's quite a lot to do um, it really does give you quite a bunch of options you can also edit your board settings up at the top left hand side over here so really you know you can change the thumbnail you can change all of these details over here the uh, heading the description you can do duplicate you can delete you can share all of this stuff um, helps you to take your ideas and expand them and be able to share them with other team members on your team and really collaborate in an effective way when you are going back to your main page over here uh, we're going to just hit that um, icon on the left hand side and you can see now um, over here you can see your recent boards on the left hand side you can see your star boards you can also see um, your team that you're in and then if you're going down here you can see that um, there's a team profile there's users in the team there's apps and integrations there's permissions and then you can just leave the team if you are not wanting to be in that team then um, you know they do offer um, apps so you can actually get the Windows app you can also have um, the app that works on your um, Apple or your iPhone and then also there is the app that works on your Android so you can just download those apps and if you are on the go you can maybe use the app on your mobile and you can still be up to date with what is actually happening again I want to show you that there are a bunch of different boards here different styles so you can really go out and do a bunch of cool things the last thing that I do want to share with you on the right hand side you can tap on your your um, profile picture or the first letter of your name on the right hand side and here you can change your settings um, you can use apps and integrations which is absolutely fantastic if you're using another app and you would like to integrate it into this app it's absolutely great um, 
and then you can also upgrade your plan if you need to depending on your usage needs and um, once you go into settings you will see that you can change all your settings in terms of your actual profile uh, your name um, or your email address passwords and all of those details right over here and um, I mean there's a lot to actually change here so you've got your permissions your insights your security all of the stuff you can see right in over here under your settings uh, insights is only available for the upgraded plan but basically it's your analytics you can basically see what is happening on your account and um, who's doing what there we go guys um, Miro is awesome i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was useful if it was don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions don't be shy to leave a comment and we'll get back to you asap we'll see you in the next one cheers